morning. Cheers. It's 9.30 on Thursday morning. And I woke up around 6.30 and did some work on the computer and then I had some breakfast and now I'm drinking my coffee. I'll show you guys what I make for breakfast tomorrow. Um, but I like to come out here on my patio because the sun rises in this direction and then it hangs out here for a bit. So I like to get in all the vitamin D that I can before I'm inside for a couple of hours teaching with that ring of light that I use and I'll show you that in just a bit. So let's do this. Let's, let's have a good Thursday. guys just saw was the setup. So here is where I set my camera up to record and my light so I can look pretty and bright. And then here is the floor where all of the magic happens. This is my journal where I record the classes and then this is where I stick my paper. That way I can see it and you guys don't even notice. All right, let's go live. So guys, I just finished teaching. It's like 11.40. And today's class went well, except that crazy um my power went out around like five minutes into class and it cut my internet connection off and I didn't even realize what had actually happened until after I finished teaching to absolutely nobody I clicked on the video and everyone was commenting it's frozen we can't see you um something's wrong but I had <laughs> a great class teaching to myself and I you know I let everybody know what happened so I'm going to show you what I'm eating for lunch now. I usually eat right after I finish teaching. Like, I run to the kitchen because I am that hungry after I teach. So, here we go. I know you're thinking, what the heck? I'm a weirdo with food. I mix everything together. This was bison, sweet potato, asparagus, and zucchini. And then this is cashew queso. It's just dairy-free queso made with cashews. And this little thing is a sandwich thin it's made out of cauliflower and parmesan cheese and then i've got um the queso on top so that's my lunch i'll probably have some dessert too who knows it is the afternoon usual Thursday afternoon but luckily for me it's my 26th birthday tomorrow and a few of the ladies that I love and cherish so deeply got together on a zoom call and they celebrated me so that was really awesome like I said it doesn't happen too often but when it does I mean I had to record it and show you guys what happened so usually around this time I'm either prepping for dinner or I'm working on content, usually blog content, because I like to write in the afternoons. So today's a little bit different. I'm recording this for you guys, and I'm gonna start putting some videos together for this YouTube video in particular. And I've got dinner prepared, which I'll show you next. So let's go on over there. So this is my dinner. I have leftover chicken and sweet potato and I'm going to lay it over a bed of lettuce and then put lots of dressing on it. It's Friday morning and I'm 26 and I'm going to show you my smoothie recipe. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a slice of lemon, blueberries, my green superfood, 
my vanilla unsweetened almond milk. This is for sweetness. Stevia vanilla drops, some coconut milk, some collagen protein, vanilla coconut, and this berry supplement that is much like my green supplement. It just has different antioxidants and superfood powders in there. This is what it looks like. It's gonna be pretty thick. I'm gonna blend. I'm back outside. You guys will have to excuse the squinting. I just, I love this time in the morning. It's, it's so nice. And so I don't usually do that smoothie recipe every single time. And sometimes I have like eggs, sweet potato and avocado for breakfast. I mean, it, it varies, but I'm on a smoothie kick this week. So I wanted to mention though about the vitamin D, getting vitamin D, getting sunlight as soon as you wake up in the morning or around like, you know, within a few hours of when you wake up activates your circadian rhythm. So basically this is, this means that for later, whenever it's time to wind down, your body knows. So this is supposed to help your sleep. It's supposed to help your digestion, your mood, your energy. So I highly recommend getting sun first thing in the morning or at least clouds because that still gives you like somewhere between 90% of what you're supposed to get, the vitamin D levels from the light. So yeah, but it's my birthday and I'm feeling so, 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 so thankful for everybody. I've already gotten lots of wishes. So I really appreciate you guys for that. And um, I'm wearing my favorite outfit. I've got on my black tank top and my white leggings. <laughs> it's my most comfortable and I just love to wear it. So of course I put it on today. And I'm looking forward to kickboxing and the dance party we have today. I will show you guys about that right here. So I've set up for classes today. I just haven't closed all the blinds yet and I have a surprise for the dance party class. <laughs> I will make sure and get everybody's reaction to my tutu. Come on, Luke. Luke. Come on, Luke. Let's go inside. Come on. <sighs> this is what it has come to. dairy-free, sugar-free chocolate cake from Wings and Cakes in Cedar Park. And look! And then we got some empanadas in here that they also delivered. Yay! So I just finished recording my last little bit of the Maddie B. Wellness behind the scenes and the day, a couple days in the life of Maddie. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I ended my video today with a class this morning that I taught, Guts and Glutes, over Facebook. And then I recorded a podcast with my grandma. So it was really fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed. You will see it here in a bit. Thank you for watching, as always. And I will see you next time. I feel like this whole YouTube day in the life of Maddie is like a first for everything because... This is the first podcast where my grandma is going to be asking the questions. So originally the plan for my podcast was to start interviewing other women who are 55 and older that I've looked up to and would like to know more about and would like to share with others. But my grandma came up with the idea of interviewing me. Um, so that's interesting and I'm kind of nervous, I will not lie. But we have about five minutes before we start. So to get in it so here is my setup i've got my ring light so it's easy to see me my computer and then a, a new microphone that i'll be trying today for podcasting so i'm pretty excited